Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to Mothman Mondays. I hope you get out, subscribe. <laughs> hey guys, this is a uh, Gabriella, and this is a uh, video like. Jeez, fuck! This is gonna be like video twelve, and the ones that I've made that I haven't put up yet. But uh, there's the cameraman. This is our Airbnb. See these fucking these notches in the ceiling. Let me see if I can show you. Those notches, like the, the eyes and the wood. Some of those are kind of deep, and I've never really got the vibe that it might be like being watched on a camera in an Airbnb before, but boy do I feel like it's, I'm being watched here. It's a good thing I and the cameraman fucked. Just to, just to be sure that, be sure in case we're being watched, we got a show. Anyways. I'm going up to Point Pleasant. It's almost midnight right now. By the time I get up there, it will be. I'm going to go out to the old TNT bunkers. Apparently, they used to hold TNT, and that's where the Mothman was mostly sighted. They said that he lived there in his off time when he wasn't terrorizing people, I guess. And uh, one of them blew up in 2010, and my buddy Jamie, he has a YouTube channel. put in the link down below. Or I'll just put a link to it down below. He does uh, MRE videos. Um... He's a, he's a lot bigger channel than me. I think he's got like 15,000 or so subs. Um, I'm going to meet up with him, and he's going to show me around because he's from the area. And we're going to go out there. He was saying that there's so many of those that there's probably still some with ordnance still in them because I guess they stored TNT back in like the 40s, which would have been about 20 years prior to the Mothman. I think the Mothman shit went on like 63, 67, somewhere around there. Uh, and we're going to go check some of them out. Uh, I guess one of them's underwater, apparently. There's just tons of them out there. But, yeah, so I'm going to drive out to Point Pleasant at, like, midnight and go Mothman hunting. Alright, so while we drive, even though I have to use my front cam, and, uh, it's pretty shit. I'm going to ask the cam camera, are you pretty spooked about going to the Mothman thing at, at, at midnight? Yeah. You're pretty spooked out? Yeah. Pussy. You're a pussy? Yeah. Are you shitting yourself? In your pantaloons? No, maybe a little pee, but not poop. A little poop, you heard it, you heard it here first. Alright, you said poop. No, I didn't. What a lying bitch. So crazy liar. Alright. Pretty spoopy. It's midnight. We're gonna go out to the munitions uh, plant where there's, I guess, it's a like 3,000 acres worth of fucking protected wildlife land now, and it's a super fun site where they had made TNT from I think like 42 to 45, and it had been a 45 million dollar plant in the 40s, which means it was just obscenely expensive if you, you know, account for inflation and all that good stuff, and. Uh, it, there's over a hundred bunkers that were designed to hold TNT out there and they uh, they were designed to not be able to be visible from the air and I guess the Mothman was seen in a plant where the North Munitions Reactor or plant, I'm not sure, kind of read it fast, but he was seen there first and he was seen in these munition silos or not silos, but like, they're like weird little dome things that look like hobbit houses. And I guess they had rented them out in, I think like, the early thousands for, you know, businesses looking for interesting ways to store things. And a local munitions company stored 15 to 20,000 tons of black powder, which fucking exploded and blew the roof off one of them and collapsed it. And I guess the government shut the area down for about a year after that and wouldn't let people out there at all because they had to check and make sure there was nothing else unsafe out there. And another interesting story about just how, like, uh, terrible and destroyed the water is, is a local, I think back in the 40s, I'm not sure, was fishing there and she saw a red plume of, uh, just, I don't know, uh, particulates or whatever you want to say, coming up through the pond and she told a local 
like one of the federal workers and they tested it and it was TNT residue coming up from some, I don't know, pipe, the ground, I don't know. And it was literally red and coming up through the pond and it was that polluted and that toxic. Alright, this What's is Jamie. Up? And uh, Jamie and I have talked for quite a long time, what, about a year? Oh, yeah, oh, like probably three long. years. It's been over two years. Yeah, I've yeah, lived out in North Carolina for a while. It's probably like the end of, like, I don't know, is it like the beginning of 2017? Yeah, yeah. So we're, yeah. we're going to go out and uh, I guess we're going to see the original building for the munitions plant, which is now a warehouse. And then we're going to go out and look for the, uh, the fuck the, uh, Igloos. Igloos, yeah. Yeah, where they yeah. stored the TNT at. Yeah. yeah, and it's like about midnight, so that's pretty cool. They got a weird thing with their gas stations here. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst area. So you I can't thought. rob it. No. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like because it didn't seem like a bad area. But Dude, they, like, nothing treat, happens like, here. The bullet, they don't do that window thing anywhere that I've been. That has been a major metro. It's yeah, yeah it's it's like that, but it's yeah. I don't know why. This is the only gas station that's like that. You want to shout out your channel to my like sure. subscribers? Old Smokey, if y'all want to check it out, I'll put them in the link down below. It'll just be his channel instead of my regular like stupid shit I put on there. All right, from here we're gonna go to the plant then. All right. Okay. So now we are at where are we at, Jamie? Uh, we're going out to check out the warehouse out here, and uh, there's some folklore. I, my son, he'll be able to fill us in more on that. Something to do with, uh, what's what's the guy's name? The Man Who Walks. There's a guy called the, the Man Who Walks, the and if you see him, you're supposed to turn around and face him, and if you don't, if you turn your back on him and you turn back around, supposedly he'll be gone. I, hmm. I, that's, I, that's new to me. I heard it tonight. Yeah, yeah that's a new one for me, too. It's Hopefully we see something. This would be cool, man. I'm yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited about the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I haven't done anything like this in years. Last time I was out here, I did see something, actually. Yeah, so what'd you see? I saw some dude. It looked like some, what it looked like was an old railroad conductor. I know it sounds crazy, carrying a lantern beside him. And I wasn't alone. There were two other people with me that saw the same thing. But we were kids, and we freaked out and ran away. So What about the, they said, when I was looking up all this stuff when I was on the way here, they said uh, the the whole thing they think originates from the Indian chief Cornstalk. Oh yeah, that's that's Point Pleasant's built around that. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Indian folklore around here too. This is this is all this was all Indian. Yeah, I read about that. How like basically they came from and they went over the Ohio River and chased them back. Yeah. Across that and then said they couldn't cross it anymore and yeah, that was stole the property. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, you want to what do you want to do, Brandon? You want to just follow us or you want to just leave it on the whole time? Want to turn it on and off? What do you? Turn on, huh? Okay. So we're still walking. The reflector's a... It's like a jack-o'-lantern or a That's face. And, and there's these little reflectors every few that? feet on the trees. and. Somebody made a face with them. Yeah, well, Strange to say the least. Do that. Thing was we took both the dogs with us. There's another mm -hmm. shape with the reflectors. Ever do that. Is there a building right there? Yeah, there's a building right there. Oh. That's yeah. it. I'll see you there, gentlemen. Yeah. That's it. Where? Right there the That's left. it right there. You can see it. Oh man. Oh, so these lead. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a building. Okay. Or something. Or something. You need to be careful down through here, John. Oh yeah, look, there's an X. Okay, so Ow. <laughs> okay, these have thorns on them, Gabe, so please don't whip them back at me. I'm not trying to whip them back. They're getting caught yeah, in there. You, you guys are good. I'll let you go, and then I'll use my crutch to block it. Me. Watch out, Jim. There's a big ass here. Let me tie her on that. Nope, that didn't work. That's all right. Yeah, you're all right. I got I'll be it anyway. Oh, I'm stuck. So, is this supposed to be it then? Oh, Jesus. If I'm honest with you. I've never seen this in my life. This might be one of the igloos. It looks like it is. Let's see. Tune in next week, dear viewers, if you're brave enough, of course. <laughs>